I saw her, but purposely avoided her. As both the Lion Fang Knight and acting Grand Master, she naturally would have some reservations towards me. If I'm not careful, one day I may find myself becoming the object of one of her investigations. But back to the matter at hand. I defeated some of the Abyss forces, but wasn't able to gather any information. Did you have more success? I see. Well then, we can more or less figure out where the first field tiller ended up. Huh? Really? Just from the Lupus Boreas story? That information combined with a more comprehensive analysis. For example, the old story you told me you heard in the cathedral. Exactly. The strange story told to you by that young sister. Long mistaken to be a curse rained down by a deceased tyrant. Ah, Paimon gets it. So the tyrant's final fury was really just missiles fired from the field tiller after it ran from Wolvendom. After it was damaged in the fight with the Wolf of the North, it must have wandered into the ruins of Old Mondstadt and stayed there. Then, whenever anyone got close, it would fire a ton of missiles at them, until one day, it finally broke down for good, and the fireball stopped raining from the sky. Back then, the people of Mondstadt hadn't seen many ruin guards before, so they came to interpret it as the Tyrant's Final Fury. It looks like we need to make a trip to Storm Terror's lair and comb the entire area. Hmm, huh. what do you mean? abandoned ruin guard sitting atop the tower when we went there before. Can't forget something like that. This requires another method. Using elemental sight on a field tiller is of no use because it is not powered by the elements. Let me give it a try. The very thing the Abyss Herald has been seeking all along. The Eye of the First Field Tiller. All of the Ruin Guards today are just replicas of this machine. As the prototype, its combat capability was unrestricted. Prototype? Oh, Paimon doesn't know that word. Is it another ancient term from Conria? As the Abyss Order has surmised, if this Eye is placed in the hands of the defiled statue, and if the limbs of Osile, overlord of the Vortex, are attached to the statue, there you have a mechanized god. And this newly born god will have the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Yes. Then, what should we do with this eye? No. I'll guard it myself. Huh? You? with it, will you? You may doubt me if you wish, but I must ensure it does not fall into the wrong hands. No matter where we may hide it, they will find it. And as for the Church of Favonius, 
Well, you know I don't trust them. Oh, <laughs> right. But our work isn't done yet. To avoid any further repercussions, we must also take care of that defiled statue. We can't have the church get involved. Let's handle it ourselves. As for what I mean by take care of it, naturally I mean to completely destroy it. Destroy it? That's a statue of the Seven! As well as being a really important cultural relic, they're actually divine too! <sighs> well, good thing we didn't tell Barbara earlier. Otherwise she'd be going completely bonkers right now! <laughs> Do the Seven really expect me to help them look after what belongs to them? Let's go back to those ruins and destroy the inverted statue. If we are lucky, we will also run into that Abyss Herald. I'll make sure it doesn't get away this time. lifeless dark chamber. I understand the evil aura you were describing earlier. Oh, such a scary place. Be careful to not be overwhelmed by the power of the defiled statue. The Abyss Herald, it's here. <laughs> you sense correctly. You are just as vexatious as ever, Danesliff, enemy of the Abyss. I sense your soul is stained by terrible bloodshed, perhaps from your darkest nightmares, unless... <laughs> oh, and something far more dangerous. You reek of a corruption familiar to me. Then we are the same. We're both dangerous. But dangers from outside of the Abyss Order must be caught and caged. It is your words that forever reek of corruption. Time to silence you! Your toast! 
Yeah! <laughs> 